In this video, I'll discuss the basics of side chaining and look at some stereo effects that are possible with multiplicity. You may want to grab some headphones to hear this at its clearest. In the door, here I'm using Logic Pro 10, I'll set my sidechain source to the kick and clap drum bus. Left clicking the band header opens the band menu, so I can change this default crossover band to a dynamic EQ band. I'll set the sidechain source to our external source, that's the drum bus. I can also choose to focus on the mid here, as I'd like to target the kick. Clicking the monitor icon allows me to audition the sidechain source, and opening the sidechain EQ, I can specify the frequency range of the sidechain source. I'm using command click on Mac to activate the low pass filter, and I'm just going to drag that to the very low end so I'm just targeting the kick as a trigger. Lowering the threshold, I can see the band will now respond to this source, and raising the ratio provides some mild compression triggered by the kick sidechain. Let's lower the frequency to target the bass. Then I'll click the S on the band tab to solo this band, and we can hear the processing in action, subtly backing off other bass frequencies to allow the kick to punch through. Now let's move on to some creative stereo processing to give the mix a lot more spatial motion. I'm double clicking on the graph to quickly create a new band and setting the band type to flat. Again, I'll solo this band while I work on it, setting the source to external, and then raising the look ahead time slightly. I'll audition the sidechain source, and this time target the claps. Command click activates a band in the sidechain EQ. Here I'll raise the high pass filter to only allow the claps through. Okay, got them. With the mid side control, I'll target only the side of the mix. Lowering the threshold, the band will respond to the sidechain. And I'm going to apply some fairly heavy expansion to push the mix out at the side on every clap. I only want to use a single slow release time here, so I'll raise the crest parameter to slow. The lit up label, which can be enabled in setup, shows me that multiplicity is only using the slow release stage here. Then I can raise the release time to allow the wide stereo expansion on each clap to release more slowly. Let's play around some more. I'll double click the graph for a new band, then click on the band I was previously working on and use copy band 2, band 3, the new band I've made. This copies all the parameters in the lower panel over. I'll solo this new band and also set this to the flat band type. Returning to the sidechain EQ and auditioning the source, I'm interested in the kick again. I'll disable the high pass filter, activate the low pass filter, and just target the kick. Then I'm lowering the ratio to some moderate compression and backing off the threshold slightly. Now the side of the mix is being compressed and pulled in on every kick. On soloing the band, we can hear the side of the mix is expanded on every clap. Using the difference listening mode, we can hear only the processed audio. Here's our mix without multiplicity. And here it is with our creative stereo movement in action. This barely scratches the surface of how multiplicity can be used. Grab your headphones and play around for yourself. Free demos available always from the DMG Audio site.